Hey guys, it's Kara. Let me give you a little tour of our seedlings and show you what all I have growing under the grow lights. Let's just start with the top shelf here. These are all blue African disc daisies that are popping up here at the very top. All but two germinated, so that was nice. And this container has more than two, so it could be very possible that I just skipped those two and put them all in there. Next to the African daisies, this container, I'm not gonna pop the lid off because I don't wanna let all the humidity out, but I just planted these yesterday, so there's nothing sprouting in there. But these are some gumfrina and also some really yummy tasting grapes that we got from the grocery store. I'm experimenting with a few rows of trying to start those seeds. Down below it, we have our brassicas. This tray is filled with cabbages, broccoli, and cauliflower. This first row here is just traditional cabbage. Then we have some red cabbages, which all but one germinated. Then some cauliflower, all but one germinated, but then again, I do have two in here, so it could be my fault. More cauliflower, and then three rows of broccoli. Most of these seeds were either from In My Gardener or Johnny's Seeds. In this box, we have some flowers. Now, I do see some sprouts under the stone, so let's go ahead and take a peek. Oh yeah, we got lots of stuff growing. Our status is starting to pop up. I went ahead and planted a few cosmos. Those are going. Look, that one's got some little raindrops on it. The blue daisies are coming up. And the gumfrina in this last row is coming up as well. I'm going to keep this dome on though until my campanula germinates. I've never grown campanula before, but I'm really excited for these flowers from their pictures on Johnny's website. They look really pretty. In the tray below that, I have a few different herbs, some dill growing here. There's a little tiny mint seedlings just starting to pop up. And then I have some lettuce and kale as well. I have some English lavender just starting to sprout in this old mango container from the grocery store. Our wood stove's running down here and it's pretty warm. So before I finish showing you what all we're growing on this rack, let's go outside and I'll show you how things are progressing in the winter sewing jugs. Out here by the back porch, let me show you guys the jugs that we winter sewed seedlings in together. These two jugs were the very first ones that I did. I did winter sew a bunch of other flowers and jugs as well. Our poppies that we sewed in this orange juice container together are now sprouting. No sprouts on the daisies yet though. These two jugs are sitting right next to some hyacinths that smell so good. I have a few other jugs here off our basement and let's see if there's any sprouts in these. There's only maybe two or three sprouts that are just microscopic with the straw flowers. Now these jugs I just did a week ago so they still have plenty of time to get going. I only filmed the two jugs up by the porch that I did winter sewing. These ones down here by the basement I did not film. I have two, four, six, seven different jugs here and just my straw flowers are just starting to come up. Also some English lavender, more poppies, as well as a few other flower varieties I'll share with you when they start sprouting. This tray is starting to look a little dry, so I'll give it a mist of water here in a minute. I have some parsley and some basil starting to pop up in this tray. I planted a few different types of basil. This row is Genovese basil, lime basil, and Emily basil. The Emily basil was the very first to germinate and every single cell popped up for me. The Genovese basil and the lime basil, about 50% has germinated so far. Coming down the road to the next shelf, we have a bunch more herbs. Under the dome here, I have some thyme and oregano that just started to sprout. This one taken off like crazy is the cilantro, some sage, and those two in the back are dill. No germination from the rosemary or the stevia in this tray yet though. 
This next one is on the heat mat. I only have one heat mat, so sometimes I move them around. I've got some water dropping here. <laughs> These are all of my tomatoes. We're having pretty good germination. Almost everything is popping up. I'll probably leave the dome on for another day or two, and then we'll take it off. I have a lot of different tomato varieties growing. If you want to see the list of all the different types of seeds, you can check out the What We're Growing for 2023 video on our channel. Down here is my peppers. Everything's doing really well so far. The only pepper variety that didn't sprout was my purple bell pepper variety that I saved from two years ago. But everything else is doing pretty well, and we had fairly good germination. There's a little bit of spottiness here and there of some of the seed. Four out of eight of my Corbachi bell peppers sprouted, which this seed is four years old now, so it could just be that my seed was a little old. That seed was also from Baker Creek. Our yarrow flowers are also starting to pop up. And the last tray that we have here are a few more tomato varieties, as well as some straw flower and celosia. There's some pink hollyhocks back there and some dianthus that's just starting to come up here as well. So far, so good on all of our seedlings. I like how everything is progressing. There's a couple things that had a little bit of spotty germination, which is another one of the reasons why I start things a little bit on the earlier side so that I have plenty of time to resell. If you're interested in seeing our grow rack setup build video, I'll link that in the description box below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Again, my name's Kara. Subscribe to our channel to follow along as we garden this year. Bye all.